You know, most of us get a vaccine for when we're very, very young and don't look back for the rest of our lives. But according to Johns Hopkins School of Public Health officials, the U.S. could be looking at a 175 percent increase in measles cases this year. WMAR 2 News Jack Watson spoke with him this evening. So, Jack, what should we know? It's kind of scary. Kelly, well, we're t while we're talking about the numbers, cases went up 75 79% from 2022 to 2023 around the world. It's capturing national and international headlines. So let's talk about why. What we're worried about is that we're going to see more and more cases of measles. Dr. William Moss's years studying measles have taken him around the world. He's a professor right here in Baltimore at Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health. When I started my work in Zambia, there was an entire ward at the hospital just full of measles cases, 30, 40 cases. Here in the United States, we, we don't see that anymore because of vaccines. But now cases appear to be on the upswing in America, an extremely contagious respiratory disease. It's most severe in young children who can get a fever, rash, and in the worst cases can die from the complications it causes. It's unfortunate because measles is a prevent vaccine preventable diseases, so we really shouldn't be seeing any cases. But when we have uh, susceptible children who are not properly vaccinated, um, and then we start seeing a resurgence of measles elsewhere, we're seeing it all around the globe. We know of more than 20 reported cases in the United States in just the first month and a half of the year. In Maryland, doctors diagnosed someone in Montgomery County with it earlier this month, and at a Florida elementary school, at least six cases. According to the CDC, more than 61 million vaccine doses were postponed or missed due to COVID-related delays. That might partially be the culprit. If your child's not properly vaccinated against measles, your child is at risk uh, for getting it themselves and to spreading it to others. The World Health Organization says more than half the world is at risk of outbreaks. Travelers may unwittingly bring it to the U.S. It takes about two weeks for an infected person to start getting sick. Vaccination rates, Moss says, must come up. It tells us that we've we've got gaps in our immunization si system, in our vaccination coverage, and we really need to try to fill those, especially as we're seeing more cases globally. We well, can schedule a measles vaccine for your child at a local pharmacy. According to the CDC, two doses are 97% effective against measles, Kelly.